What we are seeing here today, when we pulled up, we saw a line out the door. Touting progress at Sacred Heart Church in Highland Town, which sits in a community of mostly Hispanic people hit hard by COVID-19. The mass vaccination sites have been great, but it is these sites, these community-based sites that are the fundamental difference maker. And as vaccination efforts begin to rebound recovery in the state, Acting Health Secretary Dennis Schrader visiting this Southeast Baltimore site for the first time. I just wanted to see with my own eyes and Hopkins has done a phenomenal job. As officials say more and more people are lining up. You can see with the turnout here and the continued partnership that we will continue to build clinics like this to get the vaccine where it needs to be. And while state officials say hundreds of people have already walked through these doors to get the shot, their efforts and numbers still staggering. In fact, it was one month ago to the date when Lieutenant Governor Boyd Rutherford visited the church back when it first opened for vaccinations. The only way we're going to get through this pandemic is getting as many shots in arms as possible. And the church here, Sacred Heart, reaches a community that's very important in terms of making sure that they feel comfortable coming in. Since then, the church has vaccinated about 750 people so far. Health officials saying they could give as many as 200 shots daily. It's really critical. So you might say, well, 200, that's a lot of work for 200 people. But these 200 people will tell 20,000 people, and that's what we need. So far in Baltimore City, a little more than 2,300 Hispanic people have been fully vaccinated, while nearly 64,000 non-Hispanic people have gotten the vaccine. You know, this is basic public health. You go to where people are, you make it as easy as you can. And it's making it easier for those hit hardest that state officials say could help their fight against COVID. This is how we're going to close these gaps, and this is how we're going to make sure everybody in our state gets this vaccine and we get past this crisis and we can start building the state that we know is possible. In Highland Town, I'm Trey Ward, WBAL-TV, 11 News.